it's just a... Just add it to my pile of things yeah. to carry around <laughs> today. Thank you, Jade. We're going to start the sidewalk. We're going to follow Craig from Sebago Technics um, into the site. Uh, just to go over a little sidewalk best practices. The sidewalk is, is a fact gathering mission for the planning board and we'll go through and introduce ourselves after this. Um, if you have questions, the questions should pertain directly to the physical aspect of the site. Um, questions should go through me, I'm the chairman of the planning board, and we all ask us to Craig and, and whatnot. Um, if you have any uh, opinions about the project, please keep them to yourselves and bring them up at the public hearing. That is not the time uh, during site walk. So again, if you have questions, keep them to the physical characteristics of the site. And um, I'm happy to take all questions through me and I'll direct them to Craig. We're gonna follow Craig from Sebago Technics. Um, and I'm just gonna get these guys to sign in and then we'll go. Great. Um, while we're standing right here, the new main road's gonna intersect this roadway right about where we're standing, right at this intersection here. So one of the improvements that will be part of this project is getting rid of this island right here. We haven't developed the exact plans yet for that. That's going through the MDOT review. But this intersection will be improved as part of the as part of this project because Main Street will extend from approximately right across the street all the way to the left of the pump station out over here. Um, we're calling this the L-shaped building for now. Uh, it does have an address, 12 Sullivan Street, that was assigned to it. It is being renovated as part of this project. It's the only prime tanning building that's remaining as part of this project. And you can see it's currently under, under renovation and the exact use for this right now is still not known at this time. But they do intend to open up some storefronts along the roadway right here. So it will be vastly improved. So I think we'll cross the street and we can go onto the site. We have everybody. So we're gonna just gonna go around and do introductions because we have a lot of board members, we have sewer department, we've got select board, we have a lot of um, very interesting and, and smart people here. So I'm Nicole Fecto, I'm the chairman of the planning board. Jenny McCain, code enforcement officer for Bearway. I'm Amber Fecto. I'm on the planning board. Maureen Nikita's resident of Berwick. Priscilla Doobie, I'm on the bottom. Jay Wheeler, Sewer District. Valerie Jagir, Underwood Engineers. Lee J. Feldman, Southern Maine Planning and Development Commission. Craig Burgess, Sebago Technics. Mike Tibbetts, Berwick Sewer District. Paul Amatucci, Planning Board. Jerry Graybill, Planning Board. Up top right, Berwick Selectman. Dennis Dupree, owner of Devin Dukes. And Paula Lapore, Berwick Library Association. Ron Gruberson, Pine Hill Road, resident. So while we're standing right here, um, like I said over there, there will be improvements to this building, so it will change drastically from what we're looking at today. There will be architectural plans that are submitted with the next submission, which we're planning on making in about two weeks. So we will have architectural plans as part of that submission. Um, in this area, we are planning on, this area will mostly exist as green space as we're looking at today. It will be modified to include a walkway that extends to the, to the sidewalk over here, as well as a memorial site, approximately in the location that we're looking at here with the rocks and with the, where the culvert passes through. So there will be a memorial site in here with sidewalk improvements and green space. And this is the area that will be utilized for, um, potentially outdoor gathering um, of, of uh, out when, it, when Great Falls has intentions of sometimes opening this up, this area up to the public. So this area will be one of those areas that's heavily utilized for pub, public gatherings. But this area will exist mostly as green space. You can see on the plans here, this is pretty much the area. So the, the bulk of the project development is back in this area. Um, the project in whole will include the redevelopment of this building as well as 11 new buildings, a new main road called Main Street, and another roadway called Edgeway. 
So the plan that I've laid up against the fence here is, is how it's going to look from looking this way. So you can see how the green space, this, this area, this immediate area we're looking at here is going to be the bulk of the green space for the project. To our right, there's going to be a, a coffee shop and a bank. And then out toward the back, closer uh, behind the pump station, there will be a, um, a, a mixed-use building right now. And the use for that isn't, it isn't quite identified yet, but it will be commercial on the first floor and residential on the second floor. Right about where the brush pile is, that's where the new main roadway will cross through the site. And we can't really see it from this angle, but this way there's going to be this cluster of buildings that one, two, three, five buildings in this corner over here where a lot of that demolition debris is. Um, this will be the first phase of the building. Our, our plan submission will include a phasing plan that identifies the different phases. So this will be the first, well I say this is the first phase and the coffee shop and bank will be the second phase of this development. But like I said, our, our next submission will include a phasing plan that identifies the different phases of the project that will, Great Falls intends to construct those phases um, quickly, but it all depends on the market conditions and how, how the project goes. Who's going to maintain the green space, the sidewalks, the roads, um, as far as plowing and maintenance go? The Great Falls construction will, or JCS 16, they will be the private owners and they will maintain the roadways and all of the green space. What are you doing about the facade of the building? The facade is completely being cleaned up and windows put in and, and um, there's several, I, I can't, I don't know the exact amount of units proposed, I don't have that architectural plan with me, but this building will comprise of, I want to say four or five commercial units. They emailed me a, a breakdown of all of seven locations you're going to rent this alley now becomes storefront. So the dumpster and all those doors and the garage door is all gonna be storefront. I believe the only way you can get into 104 unit is by going in by the dumpster. That's gonna be their front door. There's tenants that have been, been here for like, for a long time, for the past 60 years, we've had at least four or five parking spots for Mr. Long. Um, is that going to be like in that front of that storefront on that wall over there, sidewalk and storefront windows? Because you're going to lose parking for those tenants. There's always been about six spots there. The, I don't see any parking here. So if you happen to own that unit that's going to be landlocked right here, the only way in is that spot, Craig. So is there any way that you can work with the town I've done the measurements from the tip of that white front fence over there, on that end of it, and angle it just shy of this drain. At an angle, you can pick up at least 11 spaces for minimal cost, but I don't see that on there. Yeah, I guess that would be a recommendation. <laughs> because as I see this plan right here, this entire alley is, is really, which is really nicely done, that whole wall is going to be windows and storefront. So it looks like back street will become a walkway and accessible for pedestrians. My only concern is, is there going to be a sidewalk and can we pick up at least 10 spaces between your project and the town right here? Because after five o'clock, Lynn's a representative of Spencer Matthews, after five o'clock, they're gone. After five o'clock, we're gone. So what it does is it gives whoever is in this building access to maybe 10 spots right here. If we don't need the whole piece of a pie of a thousand spots, but if you start picking up 10 or 15 spots around town, that will alleviate some of the problem of parking. I think that's a great idea. Um, do you know, is this one way right here? Everything goes right. Everything. You're not gonna come over that bridge right now where that van is, Martel, and try to get in this alley because you're gonna back everything up Market Street for a mile if he sits there for 10 minutes. That's the only concern I see, is if you come over that bridge, this being one way, you might have to go all the way around to come in here. It's gonna be weird, but it'll work, and we'll have to just get used to it. But being one way, 
you can pick up if it's tired and all the crap is gone you can pick up one or two spaces and if this does become sidewalk you might have parking that's this way flat for like seven cars and a couple right here it's still wide enough for all your emergency people to come through we've done all the measurements even if you had you won't come to the tip of this building but you can come in and pick up eight there and 11 here so you could pick up 19 spots right here you could you could do it so that they're flat against the building not this way but flat because then it looks like storefront so you're just pulling up the front of the store and you can park there We'll look into that. Just that's a thought. That's a great idea though. Thank you. Are there any other questions while we're at this point? We can continue to walk around the entire site if, if everyone wants to do that. There will be a narrow um, alleyway between this building and another building to be constructed right here. And then and that, that's really intended to serve as a main corridor coming from Town Hall to be able to go across the street at this crosswalk and then to enter between the two buildings at this point here to get into the site. So that's one of the main access points for, for this development between this building and a proposed building to be located right here. And then as we move over to where Main Street's going to be, one of the, the really unique things about this project is Great Falls is going to construct a bridge that connects the building to be located here and the next building on the other side of Main Street. So there will be a pedestrian bridge crossing between the two buildings. Is Main Street going to go both ways? Yeah, it's, it's a two-way. Is anything being done to control the traffic? I mean, I come out of my driveway, it takes me 10 minutes before I can come out of my driveway. Yeah, we've, we've, we've submitted a main uh, Department of Transportation permit and we've, we're doing traffic counts and a full traffic study and there may be some off-site improvements as part of the project but we know at, at a minimum this island will be removed and then there'll likely be some restriping at this intersection and I think that the town's looking into possible uh, two-way circulation on Eleanor. Are there any other questions as we stand at this point here? Where's that pedestrian walkway? It's going to cross a ma map? Main Street. Oh, that's, uh, okay. that's what I was Thanks. So it's fairly, it's fairly close to this side of the yeah. project. So there'll be a fairly dense cluster of five buildings looking this way. And then there'll be a parking area behind it where the big uh, construction demolition pile is. It's so. Not behind the building. So all the buildings are right up against the roadway. That's a requirement in the village overlay district. Try to get them as close as you can. And that will be the front of the actual, like the front facade of the building will be this way or it'll be toward inward? Like um, for these? Well, there'll be a facade on both on sides. Side. The, 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 the side facing the roadway, the intent is to match the sidewalk yeah. and to extend the sidewalk right up to the building. So we've designed it in a way We've set our finished floor elevations to be consistent with the sidewalks and just extending the sidewalk right up to the building. And um, are you gonna? Are the facades going to? Is each facade the the one facing the road as well as the one facing the parking lot? Is each facade going to serve the um, residential and commercial uses, or is there going to be maybe the back facade will serve the uh, residential and the front the commercial? Do you have? Do you want to answer that one? Yeah, I think that's primarily how it is. Okay. Uh, but there are some side entrances for residential as well. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. This what? entire road is all going to be built in facade all the way over to Wilson Street. So wow. there, there will be, this will all be built in facade. There will be some small alleys between three of the buildings, um, but pretty much the buildings are going to be right up against the roadway, as close as we could get it. Can you yeah. just tell them about the um, The, the, uh, the building at the corner is proposed to have uh, first, store, first uh, level understory parking. We're trying to gain as much parking as we can on the site and that was just one opportunity to do that.
most of them are two. There's there's two buildings with three stories though. Yeah. So the bottoms the bottom is all, business and the top correct. Is all the second and third floors are all residential. Where's the property line? Say it's, I want to say it's probably about maybe five feet behind this fence or so. Okay. About that? Yeah. Thanks. So, uh, um, Edgeway shown here, that's going to be directly across the street from the public safety building driveway. So, I think that's an easy point of reference. So, Edgeway will come in directly across the street. And then the plans for this building have not been finalized yet. Um, we show it on our plans for more permitting of the impervious area on the site. Um, but our, our next submission does will not include specific architectural drawings for that building. The rest of them we, we will provide architectural plans for. Are there any other questions about the project that from this vantage point? I have one. So that building that it won't be on the next sketch plan or whatever, is that across from Cumbies? I'm just trying to figure out what it sits across from. Cumberland Farms is up over here. Okay. So it's further in. It's, so yeah, it's further in. Okay. So Maureen, yeah. make sure the road's coming in across from the police station entrance. Okay, right yep. over here. Yep. And then it's going to sit on the other side. Right on the other side of the road. Yeah. Okay. And then there'll be green that heads out to Ruta. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Well, but there's houses and stuff there, so you're not going to see that from the road necessarily. There's houses. Yeah. So okay. if you look on his plan, when it sits here, these are all houses, and that goes down School Street. Cumbies is like right here. Okay. See how that flows? Yeah. And, and this, build, this building at the intersection here, that's going to extend almost all the way to Edgeway. So it gives you an idea just how long that, that building will be. This building right yeah. here? Yeah. Anybody have any questions? Alright, if there's no other questions, I'm going to close the sidewalk. Alright, closing the sidewalk, 428. <laughs>